What up squad, welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert Briggs Glover. And if you're new here, you wanna subscribe right now because I make life-changing videos where I discuss how weight loss has changed my life in every way possible. And I share all the secrets, all the mistakes that I've made so that your process can go smooth as hell because mine's did not. <laughs> Anyway, look squad, I want this video to get 3,000 likes. We're trying to get this channel to grow. I'm trying to get the engagement up. So guys, if I've ever helped you in any way, I want you to hit the like button right now, show your support. Yo, Brick Squad, check in in the comment section right now. I'm gonna be responding to at least 50 comments. So go ahead, comment right now. The first 50 comments I'm gonna be responding to. This is gonna be a very interesting video, but before we get into this topic, I do have to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by BricksFitness.com. BricksFitness.com is how I'm able to make these videos. These videos take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and the support that comes from BricksFitness.com is how it's all possible. So look, when you arrive at BricksFitness.com, it's really simple. You have four options. You can join my accountability group. You can buy a meal plan. You can buy a standalone fitness program. Or the best option, you can work with me one-on-one -on -one and get a coaching package. If you have any questions, my support team is there to help you at any time. So go to bricksfitness.com. The link is in the description below. Take the guesswork out of the weight loss process. Get the support, get the guidance that you need. The truth about weight loss and how it relates to your sex life, right? And I'm gonna talk about this in two different ways. Pardon the interruption, this is Editor Bricks. I did not mention this and I definitely wanted to include this information, ladies. Because I know I have a few ladies who watch my channel. This video is not for you. This video is for the fellas. You've been warned. The first way I'm going to talk about it is your performance. The second way is your, your actual ability to get ass. Right? Because these are two totally different ways that weight loss will affect your sex life. And I'm going to break them down based on my personal experience and a little bit of the research that I've done. And trust me, you wanna watch this video to the end because towards the end of the video, I shared my personal experience. I'm not gonna tell you if it was good or bad, but I'm gonna be unbiased about how me being able to get more ass affected my life. So watch till the end. When I was 360 pounds, I honestly didn't have much of a sex drive. So one of the first things off the bat that I noticed when I changed my diet the, after the first 30 days, like I turned into a hornball. My sex drive was insane. At first I had no clue why. I had no clue why all of a sudden I had this crazy sex drive after changing my diet for, for 30 days. I cut out fast foods. I cut out most, most sugars and processed foods. I cut out fried foods. And this did wonders for my sex drive. The trans fats that are in most fried foods there's tons of studies that show that that lowers your libido. Your libido is basically your desire to have sex, your natural desire to reproduce. And at the time I was eating a lot of processed foods, you know, sugars, foods that came in bags and cans, these quick foods, high sodium, and these sort of foods cause inflammation in your body, which affects your blood flow. So if your blood's not flowing, your blood is not flowing, you feel me? So that's definitely going to affect your sex life. Your diet has a big, thing, a big part to do with that. That's just talking about your diet. Of course, as you physically become stronger, right? Your lower back becomes stronger. Your heart becomes stronger. You're definitely gonna see better performance in the bedroom. But that kind of goes without saying. So I, I definitely wanted to mention that, but I mainly wanted to touch on how changing your diet is going to affect your sex life. All right, so now let's switch gears. Let's talk a little bit about how it's going to affect your ability to get ass. Yes, the physical part is, is one thing. Your performance, how you feel is one thing, but your confidence, the kind of energy that you're gonna exude as you, as you change your body, that changes the game. Trust me when I tell you. So here, look, right off the bat, the process of weight loss, it requires sacrifice. It requires willpower. It requires focus. And these are all things that women naturally find attractive in men. Right off the bat, right? Before your body starts changing significantly, you're already gonna be more attractive to women because you're focused. And women love men who are focused. Women love men who are productive. So right off the bat, that's gonna change the game for you. Now, second thing, you're gonna develop confidence, 
Now, there's two types of confidence that I wanna talk about. Physical confidence, you're gonna look better, right? Slowly, as your body changes, your confidence in yourself is going to elevate. And then you have your mental confidence. I don't have to go too much in depth about physical confidence. Obviously, as your body changes, your titty starts transforming into a nice chest, your shoulders start shaping, your double chin starts going away. Obviously, you're gonna start being more confident. It's gonna change, it's gonna change your swag. It's gonna change how you feel about yourself and that sort of energy, uh, the women pick up on that sort of energy. But let's talk about how losing weight changes your mental confidence. The first way, in, in my opinion, losing weight helps you with your mental confidence is you start to trust yourself. You start to believe in yourself because you're now keeping a promise that you made to yourself. And it also gives you the confidence to know that you can do hard things. Weight loss is not an easy process. And you will naturally develop confidence in yourself once you're successful at something that so many people fail at every single day. And that's gonna bleed over into every part of your life. It's gonna bleed over into your business. It's gonna bleed over into your relationships because now you have this confidence, this new swagger, uh, because you kept your promise to yourself. You achieved something that is hard. So the more you believe that you're able to achieve hard things, the more confident you're gonna be in yourself. And women can smell this. That confidence is like how a shark can smell blood in the water. Women can sense it, they can feel it, you exude it. That's one of the biggest ways that weight loss is going to affect your ability to get abs. Your confidence, 100%. Mental and physical confidence. All right, so another way. If you're focused on improving your physique, you're focused on your diet. This is gonna require a lot of energy, it's gonna require a lot of focus, it's gonna require a lot of willpower like I mentioned earlier in the video. And this is naturally going to allow you to cut out some of the thirsty behaviors that you may or may not have exuded in the past, right? You're no longer gonna be so pressed about chasing women because you are so focused on developing yourself. You are focused on your diet. You are focusing on, on just changing your physical, which in turn will change you mentally and spiritually as well. Now, when you're so focused and you stop chasing women, right? Because naturally, in order to lose weight, you're gonna have to sacrifice certain things. You're gonna have to sacrifice partying so much. A lot of the things we do when we're chasing women you're gonna naturally have to sacrifice those things. You're not gonna be able to eat out as much. You're not gonna be able to spend as much money on dates and clubs and bars and stuff like that. So naturally, a lot of those things are gonna be cut out of your life. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna shift your attraction, right? Because your energy is gonna be different. You're no longer chasing. You're focusing on you. And when you focus on you, it's a, again, you exude this confidence. Uh, you you kind of get rid of that thirsty vibe. When you get rid of the thirsty vibe, that's when the women are gonna chase you. You're gonna find yourself getting attention from women in, in situations where it just didn't happen before. This happened to me personally. It was very fun to witness this. It was fun to see the shift happen. It was fun to see the shift happen and it also encouraged me to continue to invest energy into myself, into growing my business, into reading, into personal development. Because I noticed that when I just focused on me, I didn't have to chase women. Women would chase me. And it just happened naturally. Now, let me talk about my personal experience. As I started losing weight, because what I did, and, and I'm, I'm not telling you guys to do this, I sacrificed my social life completely for at least the first six months. I didn't go to the club, I didn't have any drinks, I didn't go on any dates. For the first six months of my weight loss journey, I lost about 75 pounds, 80 pounds, and then I kinda jumped back into the dating world. Now, whew, talk about a culture shock. When I jumped back into the dating world after being in this cave for six months, I went crazy. I had this new body, and I was getting this attention that I'd never gotten before. And my body had changed so drastically that physically I was different, but mentally, I don't know, man. It was kind of like I was a kid in the candy shop 
I was getting all this attention that I didn't know how to handle, that I didn't know how to process, and I was extremely distracted. I got away from everything that got me to that place. Everything that got me to that place was my focus, was my willpower, was me uh, just prioritizing myself. So I ended up gaining weight back. I ended up finding myself back in financial trouble because I wasn't focusing my energy, my, my time and my energy wasn't where it was supposed to be. Like I was spending too much money taking women on dates. I was spending too much energy, spending time with this one and that one. And I started losing traction in life. I started losing ground. It took me a while to really figure out why this was happening. But of course, hindsight is 2020. And now my vibe is, you know, I don't really chase women, man. I, I focus on myself. I focus on my business. I focus on my family. And the women just come, bro. The women just come. I have no issues ever attracting women. And I don't live in a big city. I don't live in LA. I don't live in New York, but I still manage, you know, to uh, find the cream of the crop. And uh, it just doesn't take much effort because my, my energy is just like, I'm not thirsty. I am very established. I'm very calm. I'm very patient, you know? So I, I think the biggest thing is work on you develop your confidence, get rid of any thirsty tendencies. Like don't be, you know, jumping in DMS. Don't be leaving hard eyes under their photos on Instagram. Focus on you. Right. And, and I think one of the most powerful things you can develop when it comes to women is indifference. And what I mean by that is just not caring, bro. There's so much power in just not caring whether a chick want to give you play or not. Right. Because it's like, I, right, you can shoot your shot. If she, if she's not feeling you great, that's okay. The next one's going to come right behind her. Like you have to have this abundance mindset and you have, you also have to know your value. There's not a lot of great men out here with their shit together. So if you become one of those great men who got your finances together, you got your own crib, you got your own whip, you you're confident, you're healthy. You have something going for yourself. You become the prize, bro. You become the prize. So become the prize. Focus on becoming the prize and all your troubles with women will go away. Trust me. Guys, hit the like button. Any videos, uh, any video requests that you guys have, put it in the comment section below. And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys. So get well and get money.